so I just got done watching Insidious 2, uh, came out in 2013, three years after uh, the first one came out. Uh, so if you want to check out my la my review of the first movie, uh, go and check that out first, and then this will kind of be in continuation of it. Uh, like and subscribe because I'm gonna do the rest of the movies. Uh, all Insidious movies. I've also done the Conjuring movies, and um, so you can check out them too. But uh, as for this movie review, yeah, um. It was a lot better than the first one. Uh, the first one was kind of just induction type of thing and it was kind of boring but uh, you know I, I said just fast forward through to the good bits and it was it'd be fine you know. But um, it does continue the plot and it does continue the storyline quite well. Um, I think they filmed this movie like straight after the first movie because the kids are kind of the same age, like they haven't grown up much, and like kids, kids grow like weeds, um, when they're that small. So like they would have had to record, film them, film the sequel straight away. And a lot of what happened in the first movie, um, pays off in the second movie, which is just brilliant. Like you know it, um, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna, so I really did like this movie, um, it was a good sequel, uh, the first thing I noticed was there's a lot more production companies attached to the second one, including Sony, and, uh, because in the first movie I remember they had a Panasonic camcorder, and I was thinking, oh, jeez, okay, that, that, that just means they're not really connected to any big production company, but now they are. I say after the first one did so well, now like they definitely are, and I'd say we'll see a lot more Sony products going forward. Um, so I kind of went back in time to the nineteen sixties when the dad was a little boy and he was first being um, like kind of terrorized by ghosts and stuff, and um, what they did was with with Elise, uh, she's the medium. Uh, they, they had this horrible habit of putting modern day's actors like the actors voices into younger bodies uh, now of course they just do the age and you know and it can look pretty good but back then they used to put the like and they only did it for Elise they didn't do it for uh, the grandmother because the grandmother was younger in it too but they didn't do it for her they just did it for Elise because her voice is so recognisable I guess like that was kind of Silly, I thought. I thought that was really silly, but um, yeah. So I'm just looking at my notes. So basically, um, so the first, so if you've seen the first movie, you know how Elise dies, and uh, and then they kind of have to try and get in contact with her to find out who killed her. And uh, to find out what really happened, and uh, basically to find out that it was the woman in the black wedding dress, and um, that she has taken over the father's body, and the father's stuck in the um, the other realm trying to get back, you know, and um, so a lot of weird things start happening straight away, and the dad is now possessed. Is, is telling the wife you know not to worry about it and you know that it's it's silly you're not really seeing things and she's still seeing go like a a woman in a white dress walking around and um she's hearing the piano play every now and again and the toy goes off and so it's set it up pretty well uh so then eventually of course uh we figure out that, um, you know, the the grandmother and the Ghostbusters kind of, the guy from Saw, the first Saw film, they get together and uh, they, they, the two boys are actually a great duo. They make a good comedy duo and uh, they're kind of funny and they have a lot of, there's a few funny scenes in it which is really good. Um, 
so they have a seance scene where they're trying to get in contact with Elise and Elise tells them to go to the ho- a soul hospital where the grandmother used to work because they, they can find clues there and they do and it really did turn into kind of uh, like ghost hunters, you know the show ghost hunters like they're walking around this abandoned hospital just looking around trying to talk to ghosts and stuff so that was pretty good and then um then after that you get a scene so these are kind of my favorite scenes so that was a fa- that was a good scene and then uh it turns out that the dad really um was playing the piano but like it, they're, they're not kind of spoilers because it's kind of like well we kind of knew that from the end of the first film uh there is one black guy in this film <laughs> and he shows up at the beginning and uh, he's a detective, and I can't remember uh, what else he was in, but yeah, I do, he was, I can't remember, but anyway, um, and there's a lot of ghosts, of course, and uh, there's a lot of different stuff going on, but it's like, most of, the, most of the actors, I think, are white people. I think a couple of, yeah, like, I don't know, but it, it's, it's kind of weird. Um... So the, uh, so yeah, so kind of getting into spiders now because this it's kind of it was an hour and forty minute movie and um, once you kind of know the dad is in is stuck in the other reality, you kind of that there's where the kind of movie kind of goes then, and it's really good. It gets really good then, and uh, at least the ghost helps him, uh, you know. F- figure out just who is this ghost and what is she doing and uh like you f- and then after the hospital scene to find out where she used to live and uh, they go to the house and the f- like the two guys find go into this little girl's room and they find this little girl running around and it's just creepy as hell and the rocking horses are rocking and so that was a really good scene too and um so then eventually, like, they have to kind of confront the dad, you know, the spirit in the dad's body. And then, um, and so then, like, it just gets, it just keeps getting crazier and funnier and madder. And at least there was no demon this time. There was no demon. Like, it was all about the woman in the black dress. And it was her backstory. And I thought they did a pretty good job of it. It was actually really interesting. Um... And what ended up happening was, um, spoilers was kind of, again, it's spoilers now, because uh, you know my opinion of the film now, but again, it's spoilers now is kind of like um, really cool because they kind of time travel through um, the memories of this the bad ghost and then the time travel through the father's memories too and... Uh, some of the stuff from the beginning of this film pays off and then some of the stuff from even the first movie pays off like it's like because in the first movie the ghost just breaks through the front door and it's and it was kind of like freaky like it was scared but then in this movie it's just like no it was the dad from the future breaking through the door and it was just kind of like time travel what that's crazy um so I enjoyed that because it's just like, why not? Like, you know, it's just all madness. I'm sure people out there are going, uh, like, you know, to be uh, not happy about all of that stuff. But I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was fine. Like, you know, so what? Like, but, um, yeah, it, it it has a, a happy ending, which is great. And, but yeah, I did enjoy this movie a lot more than I did the first one. It was a lot funnier. Uh, there's a lot better scenes in it. The acting was a bit better. The mum is just... I don't even talk about her because she's just all the time, oh my God, oh my God, running around. And she doesn't really that much help at all. The grandmother was great. She was a lot of... That character was great. She was a lot of help. Um, she really was. But the mother was no help. Kind of... Till the end when she tried to hide the kids. like, But like... And then it it didn't really say. I think there was like throwaway lines where the kids were, and then 
where the because the kids showed up at the end, but then the baby didn't show up, and I was like, well, where's the baby? Oh, I don't know if there's plot holes or there's just like little throwaway lines that I missed. I, I, I don't know. but like at in the end it was fine, but like, yeah, um. So the father, the demon inside the father was like, you could see him going, getting worse and worse and his tooth was falling out and he was going real pale and everything. So that was great, you know. Um, so that was great effects. And I was thinking, like, the father isn't really a good actor here, but it was a ghost inside of the father, so that was really good. But then the father was actually good because, I, I, like I said in the first review, I really did like him in the Conjuring movies. And uh, he's actually, I didn't like him too much in the first film, but he's actually really good in this film. So he must have developed a lot in them for a year. So <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, so so I do recommend the film. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to review all the uh, Insidious movies. Uh, so check the uh, playlist out here. Check out uh, the Conjuring Timeline playlist. Check out my channel. Uh, check out my last movie review. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, was there anything else? No, I went through all my notes. So that was pretty good. Um, yeah, great. See you later. Bye.